Mike Catlin travels the world training English teachers. To his students, he's the English man. With him, we get to meet the real people, hear their stories, and see the places tourists rarely reach. This is the Franciscan Church of the Annunciation, and this is Ljubljana in Slovenia. Loads of people want to travel more these days, and one way of doing that is teaching English as a foreign language. I've been doing that now for some 14 years, and I've been from New Zealand to South America, and from Dublin to Far East Asia. Great life, isn't it? I've noticed how many people here speak really, really good English. Um, how's that happened? I think that uh, youngsters uh, are keen on uh, learning English, uh, but not only English. Mm -hmm. They like to learn uh, also French, German, uh, because they would like to be more uh, flexible while uh, dealing uh, uh, with people all over the Europe. It means that we, as a small nation, um, only two million of uh, yeah. people uh, are uh, eager to learn uh -huh. um, other languages and I believe that we are talented. And how many so, languages do you speak? Actually English, uh, German and Italian. Okay, well, that's been pretty impressive back from where I come from. Okay. <laughs> and it's, 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 it really is great to come to a country and be so welcome because nobody seems to mind speaking English. It's very, very open okay. and friendly. Thank you. And thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I do work really, really hard, but who's going to complain about this in their free time? The River Ljubljana, there's cafes down both sides of this street, the sun's out, it's glorious. I've been all around Europe. Um, I've also been looking that I've been to South Africa, New Zealand, uh, Australia, South America. So I've seen a lot of countries all over the world as a result of doing this job, but I've, my main two bases have been in Hungary and in Poland. A lot of people want to do this so they can go and study a language. You know, people want to learn Spanish by living in Spain, actually go to Spain, teach English as a foreign language, but also learn Spanish or whatever while they're there. Doing this course gives them the opportunity to do that, as well as setting them out on what can be quite a long-term career, as it has been for myself and for many of the people I know. Normally as a trainer, the course is the same wherever I go. It operates to the same syllabus and the same criteria, so essentially it has to be the same in content. One of the first things we do in a teacher training course is to put the new trainees in the position of students. So we give them a foreign language lesson. The lesson I'm about to give is Hungarian, a language which none of the trainees can understand, so they're going to feel completely lost. It's important for them to realise what it feels like as a student to not understand what's going on. They'll also pick up some techniques they can use in their subsequent teaching and they'll realise that it is possible to teach a language without understanding the mother tongue of their students. It's a course that's going to run for the next four weeks and it takes them from being complete beginner teachers into operating teachers. Not perfect teachers by a long stretch, but people who can go out in the world and uh, start a job teaching English as a foreign language. Well, I started off by doing a course like this myself back in 1994. And my original ambition was, like many people, just to be able to travel around the world or just travel around Europe for two or three years and uh, learn, the, learn, learn some culture, learn some language, see how other people live. And eventually I became a teacher trainer. And part of that job, in fact the main part of that job for me, is to go and train people who were like me in 1994, who wanted to go out and teach English as a foreign language, maybe for a year, maybe for two years, maybe for 20. I chose to come to the course uh, because I realized I have a certain skill set that is valuable to uh, the people and the students in Vienna, Austria, and uh, the course is uh, known to be very good for training new teachers. I think it's something that will give me a national, international credence with the skills that I have as a, as a native English speaker, and I think it will uh, give me experience in teaching, which I don't already have. It will give me teaching skills and then practice and um, terminology and certificates, most of all. <laughs> I will use different material when I'm working with students of different nationalities and you've got to be aware of cultural differences, you've got to be aware of what they need to be able to communicate in the wider world. I think that tutors provide a role model, uh, an example of things that I would like to be able to do. I think the role of the tutor is to help facilitate in, in finding the teacher within us and bringing that out.